Hello everybody, it's Gwen with CraftyLadyDesigns.com. It's a Tuesday. Uh, you don't want to see my keyboard. I think I'm finished with that. We are going to complete our uh, Halloween book. If you want our scary book. Well, it's not really scary. Uh, we finished the outside. The book, the pages are all complete. They're all in here, and the uh, flaps, the pages that, that fold inside, we have that. So we're going to start. i got a few things I want to finish up on the outside, a few little odds and ends I want to add. <clears throat> and that will be completed. And then we are going, well, I think I'll do that at the end, maybe. Because I'm going to put a thing on the back here, and I've just got some metal pieces. Because virtually I have that finished. I got a couple, uh, a key I'm going to put here, and then I got a pull type thing I'm going to put here on the back on the spine. So let's get started with uh, putting down our pattern papers. Uh, I, ha I don't have any show and tell. I haven't been crafting. I've been watching everybody in the world craft, but me. Uh, is Amanda here? Hi, Amanda. Hi, honey. Uh, I didn't see her come in. Oh, there she is. Hi, Amanda. So next week, we're going to do a file uh, folder and hand stitch one signature. Now, a signature is a collection of uh, pages folded together. You, they can be any size. A signature can be one page, ten pages, whatever. Uh, these, these are uh, made from uh, just... Uh, <laughs> I think it's 80, 65 pound uh, card stock. Here's a little slip I cut and put in there. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six pages, six eight and a half by 11 pages, which are folded in half, which makes a signature. Uh, this is a file folder. We talked about that last week. There's file folders uh, on Scrap a Dab -a -Doo. Now these happen to be mine I hadn't in I, I did a project oh a long time ago uh, a couple years ago uh, and I bought a whole box of these I had to order them they were the uh, craft color which I really do like but you can use any of the manila uh, standard office files uh, that's going to be our book and then we'll cut them down and makes a little pocket here and then allow some because they're nice and wide they're wider I think they're about 18 inches uh, and this makes a fold and we do a little thing here and, and then I just put a grommet with some raffia to tie around it and we're going to hand stitch these in like so and there you can see down the spine the spine is I mean the there's no spine per se no one inch two inch whatever so that's that's the one signature. Now you could certainly make a wider spine and if you did, if you made a wider spine you would need to put a piece of uh, uh, chipboard in there to make it sturdy if you wanted to do that. We're not going to do that next week but if you wanted to do that and put in more signatures. These are just blank pages which you can decorate, you can use for journaling, you can use for pictures, whatever you want to use it for. It's just or an art book. You could make make this uh, an art journal, uh, kind of like we've been doing. This is nice, heavy paper. If I were going to make it an art journal, however, I would use 140 pound watercolor paper. Uh, that and that's not what this is. Um, because it, it would, and you could do that. You could certainly do that. Make your own art journal, journal book like this would be really cute. Um, and just use one signature with six pages folded in half. Uh, cut down at eight and a half by 11. So anyway, that's what we're going to do next week. I'm already gabbing too much. <laughs> Is everybody okay? Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. How are you? I'm not paying attention. So that, and you can tie this. I just have to have this raffia, which I liked, and I thought it went well with this ecru paper. But you can use a ribbon. You can use whatever. So that's next week's project. Any questions? Oh, I'm looking. I'm looking. 
I told Ron, <laughs> I told Ronnie the other day that it, and I, I don't know. I'm losing it. I really think so. I do. I thought we had to set our clocks back Sunday. And <laughs> I told him, I said, now, you know, we're going to set our clocks back and, and whatever. And it got late and, and uh, I'm doing the edges with hickory smoke. And I'll give you the measurements on this as soon as I get this one finished. So anyway, I went to bed and got up and I, I kept waking up and I looked at uh, my phone and I had my iPad and it hadn't changed. Well, he got up and changed, had gotten up early and changed a couple clocks. Now our cell phones and our computers, you know, they automatically change. So when I woke up, it was about 8 o'clock or so, and he said, well, the clocks didn't change. I said, no, I see that. I, you know, <laughs> and I know, I know. Now, I wouldn't, I don't know. I'm losing it. I got part-timers. Um, it's November, I guess, uh, you know. So anyway, he had to change the clocks back. I am using hickory smoke and not black. I like this hickory smoke. If I get offline, somebody caps. And if you, if you got a, a direct question for me, put them in caps. If you got a problem, Carol's your moderator. I don't know where Janie is today. Or, uh, um, I don't know. See, I can't think. Janie or Margaret Ann. Is this Tuesday? It is Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> okay now these are these are the ones and I'm only going to put one this is the the um, card that come with the envelope and cards that we, we've used uh, Carol was censored what'd she do what'd she say scrap and have a do distressed oh yeah the hickory smoke I love the hickory smoke it's it looks black when you use it on the edges but it's not a stark it's just a softer looks like a softer black but it's not when you use it to stamp with I did to just really see uh, it's it's a gray it's a it's not a charcoal it's not a real dark gray but it's it's a kind of a medium to dark darker gray uh, yeah, it's the new. Oh, I love it. I really like it. Uh, okay, we put we put the black on the front and the back. I didn't put anything on the inside. That's where you can journal and write. I'm only going to put the pattern paper on the front. Now, I must say, and it's okay, this uses a lot of paper. Uh, in fact, I may have to order another big pad. But anyway, it's okay because it's beautiful. Um, yeah, November. Yes, dear God. I, you know, <laughs> changing clocks. So anyway, I'm only going to mat, and I did them all the same. Now these are the insert. These are the uh, these slip down in the middle between the envelopes. So we'll put them on first. They measure. Now keep in mind, measure yours. I cut the black at four and a half by four and a half because this is square. I rounded the edges just on the bottom. Front and back. This is cut four and a quarter square, and I rounded the edges just on the bottom to correlate and to match with this. So we're going to put this down, and I am going to use. What am I going to use? I am going to use oh, my uh, ATG. You don't need score tape. You want it down. I had a little bit of trouble with the. Uh, um, glue it it's still a little bumpy now see there okay now we just put that on the front now that I got all these put in here so I won't forget where they go this is your uh, card that's going to fit in on you turn your your page over and it fits in the back and then it folds down and you can, you know, it's for uh, photo sheets and 
Well, this one's really tight. I don't know why. And it folds down like so. There we go. See, it folds down and it flaps up. So you can journal up here at the top. I'm going to put a, a decorative uh, paper there. Decorative there, there. Decorative there, and whatever. Okay, so we're going to do the, the flaps first. I'm going to pull this out and lay them aside. And I'm gonna and I'm going to uh, do around all the edges. I had uh, well, I had trouble picking out my papers because I didn't want to cut into the back. Oh, and here we go. And at least about a quarter, a little over an eighth. Well, it's over an eighth, about a quarter all the way around. Number two. Now you're gonna need six of these because you've only got six. Of these, even we got six of the uh, inserts. Anything new and exciting? I I just tuned in. To uh, Ella yesterday, and I couldn't stay. I was working on, on a pray, and that's when I had to take Ronnie to deliver his car, take Ronnie to pick up his car. I got to take Ronnie tomorrow for a checkup at the uh, the doctor that did his his six month checkup, did his hip replacement, which he's doing fantastic. He's out playing golf. I mean, I just can't keep up with all these things, and. I, Ronnie and I, went out and had dinner with our daughter and our grandbabies Sunday night. My grand, my daughter and son-in-law's anniversary is the 17th, 10 years. Oh, Lord. That was the best weekend I ever, ever had. It was just that wedding. Oh, and it was beautiful. It was gorgeous. And she was gorgeous. 10 years. Walker 6. Baby Avery. Oh, my Lord. That child is a treat. Okay, uh, now we have all these finished. These are all, and they're all the same. I did them all the same. I mix these pa pattern pages. Gosh, I can't talk. Pages up. Uh, now I'm going to do. Well, I missed one. See, I do that periodically. I don't want. Don't get all four corners. I rounded the corners on these all the way around. These go, these go on here, four and a quarter square, and if you turn your page over on the back, they go on there, four and a quarter square. So you need 12 of these. Now I haven't got these inked yet. Let me see how I did this. I did six and six. So every other one, well, no, this one will be one and uh, the orange and this will be the purple and I may mix them up. I don't know. I, I sometimes do three patterns. If I've got six, I do three patterns and, uh, you know, kind of do every other one. Because you usually don't have enough paper, or I don't, to do, you know, either six different six different pages or whatever and then of course these are 12 the rest of these it's 12 of everything so this goes on when you lift up your first flap this goes under your first flap and then you turn your page over and it goes on the back of your page has anybody started this yet It's interesting that September had is lots of something. What's 44 years? How many years? What's going on? Hi, Ashley. Hi, honey. What's 44 years? I'm missing out. So we got a 44 anniversary. I got a 45 coming up in February. Or is somebody turned 45? Now, I'm not going to do that. I wish I could. 
I love the 40s when I was 40. 40 is a great year, age. You're smarter, supposedly. <laughs> Settled. Still look fantastic. So I'm going around all these edges with Hickory Smoke, scrapadabadoo.com. Jenny, is uh, Jenny okay, Carol, or do you know? I got 45 year anniversary counting up in February. Gosh, that's a lifetime. That's a lifetime. Taking me 45 years to train that man. It turned out pretty good. I got to my appointment good last week when I had to leave, and I apologize for that. I don't like to do that. I can't believe that it's mid-September. My sister has a birthday, the 17th. We're going to her have dinner with, with them, her daughter and son, and my niece and nephew, and her and her paramour, her friend Bill, who they've been together for 30 years. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I'm going to do, let's see. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put the purple on. Now, these go on the top of the flap. Like so, like up here. If I get out of frame, somebody scream at me. I do occasionally. That goes on like, see, there's your flap. Now you're going to turn it over, and I'm going to put the orange on the back. Where Margaret Ann is today, or Janie. I'm worried about Janie and Margaret Ann. I have a girlfriend, and her name is Margaret, and she is from Glasgow. And she is there. She left Sunday. Okay, so we have that, and we have that. Now we're going to switch. We're going to do, no we're not, no we're not. I want it to, yeah, I don't want that to be the same, so we're going to do this. I'm just using these two patterns on these. I cut 12. I cut six of each, four and a quarter square. Now as you build these up with your pattern papers, these envelopes are not real sturdy. They're thinner paper, as you know. Uh, so when you put your pattern paper on, it really does help. Right in, right center with about a quarter of an inch all the way around. Okay, now we're going to do another one. I cut these out a little bit ago. I got busy with an appraisal deal. Getting it sent out. I had some trouble. And uh, we stuck. We're froze. Oh, God. Damn it. Damn it. Sorry. We're frozen. Already, I give up. I've just about had it. 